What was the Labour politician? Thank heavens for that. David Miliband, when he was Minister for School Standards, continually cited the PISA figures. And again, the IFS and others make it clear that but, the but, PISA but figures... But Tim's is clear. Maths and science, they're absolutely core areas. PISA, you said earlier in your opening well, remarks that that's the no which is the most what, recent what, what is, what is is really, really, really question. What, 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 right, Michael Gold, please. Really good. Michael Gold. I can't admit that... Pip, Excuse me, I don't think your name is Michael Gove, I think it's Ed Bowles. Michael Gove. <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Just answer um, the question. PISA are the tests which everyone acknowledges are the most objective, the tests which David Miliband chose. Tim's tests are closer to the types of tests we use. They're more we biased in favor of people. We don't there. need... Did you point right. that? We don't Mike need... Just tells, which are the literacy tests, which Ed did not answer, show... We don't but if you leave it. primary right. school in this country, you are seven times more likely Stop. to be All right, enough. than in the Netherlands. We I've had enough pearls, Tims, or pieces. Stop talking. Because I don't think anybody knows oh what you're talking about. Good to I want to ask you a more fundamental question, Michael Gove, if Ed Bowles would stop heckling, is that after 18 years of Conservative government, by 1997, why were there still so many slum schools in this country? Because we'd had two recessions. Oh, come on, oh, Michael. Come on. Slum schools. Well, we needed to ensure <laughs> that we dealt with the economic problems that we faced at the time. But recessions were bad for banks no. and businesses, but not for schools. You make the point about slum schools. If we're talking about investment in school building, then investment in school building during the Conservative years wasn't enough. I will grant you that. But we laid the foundations for economic growth. Labour won in 1997. They used the fruits of that growth to invest in improving the school estate. I think, fair play to Labour, that was one of the right things that they did. But because of the economic problems that we faced in the 1980s and 1990s, we didn't have the investment in school buildings. What we did have, however, were reforms to give parents more choice, to introduce testing at a 7, 11, 14 and 16. I'm glad that and Michael... also, also to have Ofsted, the school inspectorate, I'm glad the Michael architecture is... of those reforms I'm glad introduced by Ken Baker right. have not been rejected either Brief. by Ed Balls or David Laws. I'm, 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 I'm glad that Michael recognised this, that the Tory government in the 80s and 90s didn't fund education properly. What I hold him to account for now is not the decisions in the 80s and 90s, but the decision of this Conservative opposition to make things like inheritance tax cuts a priority at the same time as they're arguing for a smaller education budget. That would take us precisely back okay. to what we saw in the 1980s Let's and 90s. Let's try to stick to education and a concern of uh, parents and teachers up and down the country of England. What has gone wrong with the standard of discipline in our classrooms and boards? I don't think um, it's gone wrong. It's got better. But it's uh, got we, better? Need to, we need to go further. The, the survey show Ofsted shows, the independent inspectorate, that there are more schools now with good or outstanding uh, behaviour than ever. 80% of secondary schools, 98% of primary schools. But sometimes I feel that parents and sometimes governing bodies don't back teachers enough to use their powers to keep discipline. I say all of us as parents have got a responsibility. Michael always says, give teachers more powers. When I speak to the teachers, the teachers say, we've got all the powers we need, but we need to be, feel confident that if we use them, there won't then be parents in the school demanding that we're in trouble for using the powers, rather than their children being in trouble. I say, let's get parents to back our teachers. That's the way to deliver the best discipline. Michael Gov. The authentic voice of old Labour. Blame mums and dads for the problems in our schools. Well, the truth is, the what, teachers what, what do not have mean? the powers they need. Well, you just did. Don't you blamed you, the nation's don't, parents. No, I didn't. You talk about me no, running didn't. down the people of this country, said, said, and you've just said, said the problem of school discipline is down to mums and dads. There is nothing what would you no, 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 the Conservatives there is no, do about it? That's ridiculous. We've listened to the professionals. Yesterday, we all addressed the National Association of Head Teachers. The General Secretary of that union said that two years ago he had warned Ed that there was an epidemic of false allegations against head teachers, something needed to be done, and Ed hasn't done anything. Oh, Ed's yeah. introduced a search power, he claims, to enable no. school leaders dear to me. deal with those people, like yeah, the I people who were responsible for the bad behaviour that we all read about in Nottinghamshire last week, who brought a camcorder <laughs> into school. Ed says that he's got a new search power for head teachers. The head teachers union, the Association of School and College Lecturers, say that new power is no power. Every time I go to a what? teachers' union conference, that's exactly what they say, Ed, and you should listen to them, they tell me that they need stronger powers, and Ed won't get from yeah, the idea because that he's the, in denial. The, the idea that, that we have the idea that the answer to the, 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 the problems in our schools 
is more central government legislation. It's bizarre. Yeah, what's and your it's answer? very odd from a conservative. What's your answer? The answer, precisely, is to do what we've suggested in relation to the people <coughs> premium. Yeah. So that to put additional money into those schools with the highest level of disadvantage, where there is the greatest problem with discipline. So you think discipline is simply a problem of lack of money? No, no. What, what it is linked to, so how would more what money it, make what a it difference? is linked to, is young people that don't master the basics early on in school. Young people who are not able to keep up in English and maths, those are the ones who are poor what, what, in terms yeah. of their... Michael, their balls, to like to those those into, to uh, I think David does make one good point there, which is that children with special educational needs need early support before that behaviour manifests in bad behaviour when it's actually an educational need. But the other thing to say is, look, we have strengthened powers for teachers to use force to, to restrain pupils if they need. We've uh, changed the law to give them more powers to search. When I asked Alan Steer, former head teacher to go and talk to all the teachers. They said, we've got the powers. The issue is, do we all back teachers to use those powers? I'm afraid, Michael, well, look, if you're a parent in a class, there's one child disrupting your child's learning. I want to ask Michael Gove one specific about the teacher policy, because he, he attacked your policy, but you didn't say, which you normally say, that you would take away the right of appeal. So if a school wants to exclude a pupil, that's it. Is that still your policy? Yes, it's one of a number of other policies I could talk but about. But on that particular time, policy, which is a critical one, how would they do that? Because surely natural justice would say exactly. you have to have a right of appeal somewhere to be legal challenges under the Human Rights Act, wouldn't they? Sure. Michael, go. There may well be legal challenges, but I'm quite clear. If a child is disruptive, exactly as Ed said, then we need to make sure that that child is not disrupting the education of other children in the classroom, and we need to ensure that the authority of head teachers is respected. Right. 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 Losing a, a oh, yeah. challenge. Yeah. We have to but move on. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. To fight in the court. We've got so much to cover that I, I, I really need Michael to, must to move tell on. tell the viewers, I, though, that the head teachers' union does not agree all right, with his proposal. There. You just have. Thank you. So we'll leave it there. <laughs> Michael Gove, can we be clear? Would it not be fair to sum up? Tory education school policy to parents is that if your school is failing, it's not up to the state to make it better, it's up to you to sort it out yourself. No, that would be a crude caricature. We believe that parents should be listened to, absolutely, but we also believe that the government has a clear role to play. The government has a role to play in improving Ofsted, and we have policies to ensure that it focuses more rigorously on education standards. We have policies to ensure that our exams are world class, and that the exams which children sit in private schools can be sat in state schools. And we have proposals to give existing schools more freedom, to enjoy the academy freedoms that Ed has curtailed and that David would deny them. But your Swedish model uh, ignores the evidence, doesn't it? The, the most definitive research from Sweden, from Bolmark and Lindahl, you're probably aware of it, says there were no lasting positive benefits from their model, which has been running since 92. Why are you going against research? Why are you putting so much into it? There are four independent academic reports, including Bolmark and Lindahl's. There are also reports by um, uh, Mikael Sandstrom and also by... Well, we'll just take us there are three others. Tell us the about biggest one, <laughs> The most definitive one was what well, they show. Well, you think, what you they think show. it's the biggest and most definitive. I think there are three others. They all show that the more free schools you have in a municipality, the higher standards are. They all show that standards are higher in free schools than in other schools. They also are backed by every political party in Sweden apart from the communists. And the proposals that we're putting forward aren't just existing and working in Sweden. They're also the proposals that President Obama wants to extend in America. It's the same in the States, isn't it? Charter, schools, schools, charter schools, Stanford report shows that 37% of charter schools are doing worse. Only 17% are doing better. What they do, what they do prove, Stanford, you're not going to... Well, what they do prove, this Caroline Hawks piece work and the work of others as the BBC demonstrated on Radio 4 when they looked into this, provided you have an appropriate filter process to ensure that those who are setting up charter schools meet appropriate standards, that in every area where they're opened, they succeed. And I think that the leaders, the Tories have got, I think Ed Bolts wants to extend, which Ed would not allow to open here, and which David would not allow to open here either. Ed Bolts, the leader of the Swedish Social Democrats writing The Guardian today, says the Conservatives have got the Swedish model quite wrong. The evidence is not just lower standards, but rising inequality. But Michael is not being honest. Well, she reversed but, that policy then. But yeah. She didn't say she was going to reverse this. I read that but piece, Michael, and it's certainly interesting. It. Michael, but she didn't say she was going to reverse that said, policy. Will she reverse she, it? Yes, she, sa she said that it led to more schools in shoddy buildings with less qualified teachers and lower standards, and that's but not that's what she supports. That's, 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 that's a decision, that's decision ultimately. Let me just make one. Let Ed Boss finish, David Laws. It is totally dishonest, though. Given that the Conservatives, unlike Labour and the Liberal Democrats, are proposing to cut education spending this year, next year, and the year after, for Michael to travel around... For, for is Michael, well, we'll come on to funding in a minute. Just deal point, deal with the Swedish school reform, which you know, the Social Democrats in Sweden are critical of, they are. but as she explicitly said today, 
She would not reverse. The head of the Swedish Ofsted, the independent inspector, has said it led to falling standards and rising inequality. He, he's always but, been but, against that experiment. But there is a very important funding issue here. Michael is